friend Carla from yoga. She oh, said my God. That... Joel, you know I hate when you talk about your yoga friends. I know, but she's different. She's... Oh, stop. NMP, Joel. What's NMP? No, no, people. Especially oh. somebody that can touch their nose their <laughs> It's not natural. <laughs> So somebody somewhere on HBO just wrapped its second season, already renewed for a third season. I'm talking with star Jeff Hiller. I'm so excited to talk with you. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. So for those who haven't seen it, what is somebody somewhere about? Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. It's uh, it's about uh, a woman played by Bridget Everett who has lost her sister and now is really about uh, finding what life is like in her small town and and finding her chosen family. And your character, Joel, is her best friend. What was it like getting the call that you were going to be cast for this role? It was great. <laughs> it was very exciting. Um, you know, I, I've been an actor for about 25 oh, years God. and I've mainly played waiters and, and flight attendants. And uh, oh, to actually have a character that has a name. Oh, it's very exciting. <laughs> and uh, you and Bridget Everett, just your characters are inseparable. Is that what your relationship is like working side by side? Uh, I, I think we're separable. She's not here right now. But uh, yeah, we're good friends in real life, too, which helps a lot to make it seem like we're friends on camera. So your character had a really big arc this season, uh, stepping into the dating world, which wasn't so great with Sam. Uh, what was it like working with the, on those scenes? Well, uh, my love interest is played by Tim Bagley, who's on, uh, you know, you know, from Grace and Frankie and Will and Grace. A lot of Grace shows, actually, now that I think about it. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> And uh, he's super funny and super uh, uh, such a great actor and so uh, interesting. And uh, it, it was just really fun to sort of play off of that. But it was really scary to be like, um, you know, not not friends with Bridget anymore. It felt very like, oh, wait, this isn't right. <laughs> and we also saw you recently in a completely different role in American Horror Story as a serial killer. What was what was that like for you? Well, that's nice because it's my actual life. Um, <laughs> no, I, <laughs> uh, it was really exciting. You know, it was like very strange to play someone so villainous and, um, you know, like stabbing people and stuff. <laughs> um, but it was exciting. It was exciting to be something new and different. <laughs> and we just got the announcement of the third season. Obviously, we have to wait a little bit for it. Is there anything you can preview about the upcoming season? I don't know anything about it, so <laughs> you're not getting anything out of me. <laughs> the nice thing about our show is there's not a lot of like spoilers. It's not like who did it or who's gonna success. You know, we're just uh, <laughs> we're just you know gonna go have breakfast, that kind of a thing. <laughs> I love the succession plug. Your character is so optimistic. You play him so well. It's so infectious. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, make sure you watch somebody somewhere. You can stream both seasons on Max right now. <laughs>